So Uber pushes this out 24 hours before the California Supreme Court starts listening to oral arguments on Prop 22. Is it unconstitutional? And uh, when Uber pushes these type of messages out, um, they're, they are mainly fear-based. And they are so desperate, right? Because they want to make this final appeal, this final impression on a driver. And this is aimed at California drivers 24 hours before a monumental decision is made that could impact their business. So they say here, I'm reaching out um, to provide you with an update on Proposition 22, the ballot measure that California voters passed by a large margin in 2020. By the way, uh, California did pass that, not by a wide margin, but they passed it. And that's base, basically based on Uber, Lyft and DoorDash spending $220 million on lobbyists and TV ads. And those TV ads were extremely misleading, right? They just put the fear into the riders. Oh, your, your rates are going to go up. Your trips are going to be so expensive if you do not vote for us. So um, that's, I think, is one of the, one of the, the, the many um, counterattacks to this unconstitutional prop proposition 22 um they're basically saying you know it's a lot of deceptive advertising and the people were fooled and you know here are the facts so we will see how this plays out tomorrow i, I announced a few hours ago uh, there's going to be a big rally and a caravan tomorrow at the california supreme court at uh 12 30 p.m if you want to go um so they say Prop 22 upholds your status as an independent contractor while also making sure you are entitled to benefits, including a minimum earnings guarantee, which is a joke, right? Which is an absolute joke that because this is what they promised, but this is not what they delivered on. They had this multiplier, which is as close as you could get to an independent contract for a year, and then they stripped it away. I, 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 I don't know why... Um, the state did not jump on them the moment they removed that multiplier. Because if the multiplier, at least, if there's an offer for $5 by Uber and you decide, okay, I'm going to do it for 2x, $10 or 3x, $15 or 4x or 5x, $25, you get to set your own rates. And that's what an independent contractor does. But they revoked it. They took that away from the California driver. Ask any California driver about the multiplier. I've, I've made countless videos. It is what I wanted for every single state, right? Because it, it, it makes you an independent contractor. I independently set my own rates. By the way, the only place you can really do that is a private driver. And if you want to become a private driver, take my course at Gig Rocket below, right? That's where you set your own rates. But back to the story here. Um, since Prop 22 passed, California drivers and couriers have received more than $1 billion from the minimum earnings guarantee and additional benefits from Uber alone, a testament to the impact of this important law, which is really a joke what, you know, what, what the drivers got um, benefits-wise because there's so many conditions built in that you have to drive X amount of hours, etc., etc. So it's, it's the carrot and the stick, my friends. Unfortunately, Proposition 22 is currently being challenged in the courts by labor unions while it's being upheld so far. A final hearing is happening tomorrow. So they push this out and the rally is tomorrow on May the 21st. Take a few hours off. Go down there. Instrumental. Um, so unfortunately, Prop 22 is currently being challenged in the courts by labor unions um, an unfavorable ruling could completely dismantle your right to independent work and the flexibility protections and benefits that have been afforded by Prop 22. For now, nothing changes. You can continue to drive and deliver wherever and whenever you want. And make it sound rosy, right? We, we, you can deliver wherever you want. That's not true. Again, that's what an independent contractor should do. But we get these warnings and threats, you know, um, timeouts and blah, blah, blah. So th that that's a fat lie, Darakosha, shall we? You can do whatever you want, drive wherever. You can't drive wherever you want because it's always attached with a threat that can lead to deactivation. Um, we'll keep you updated on the outcome of the court case and we want you to know 
that whatever happens will keep fighting for your right to independent work. You are not giving us true independent work. The only independence, and correct me if I'm wrong, is the flexibility of time. I can drive when I want. If I want to drive midnight or 6 a.m. in the morning or 12 in the afternoon, that's the only flexibility you have in, as an IC. Otherwise, setting your own rates, no. Going, taking whichever trek, declining um, or, or, or not accepting, always attached with threats which lead to deactivation. So it's absolute bullshit that they say, um, you know, we're fighting for your right to do independent work. You are not a true independent contractor. Let me say that again. You are not, you should be a true independent contractor because that's the label you got, but they are not treating you as an independent contractor. If you would like to help protect Proposition 22, consider joining the Protect App-Based Drivers and Services P PADS Coalition. Bullshit. PADS actively represents your interest to California lawmakers in Sacramento and keeps you informed. And they sent you a link, which I'm sure you looked at. So we'll see um, how the news... I'm not going to make it. I, I was up in uh, San Francisco last weekend, had a really, really productive weekend. Um, and, and things will be rolling out. I met with senators... Um, I, I had really, really good meetings, so uh, I don't want to share too much. Um, they will appear, you know, whatever came out of those meetings will appear in my channel in the near future and stay posted. And um, we'll be reporting on this because this is going to be all over the news tomorrow. This is going to be the main Uber and Lyft story tomorrow. Um, so many videos to follow on this, and I'm sure other channels will also be reporting. Your comments, please.